Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to the second part of our 60 seconds. A lot longer than 60 seconds. Anyway, uh, this is a little bit of post-recording intro to continue on where we left off last time. So, enjoy, and here we go. Day 17, Geiger counter. The beard has grown. Look at the little guy on the wall. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. He's better, Mary Jane's hungry. Okay, let's feed Mary Jane. We are about to finish our dinner, if you can call it, when we heard someone knocking on the door. Seems to be a trader, very interested in ammo. Checkerboard! We don't have any ammo, we use that to rub on our skin to make us smell better. <laughs> Laughing? Uh oh. Checkerboard's gone. They stole it, didn't they? We offered checkers instead of the ammo. The visitor was quite confused when he tried to explain what ammo is. We pretended to un we pretended to understand nothing. It was very amusing. Until he left with our checkerboard. Mary Jane's thirsty. Timmy's okay. Ted's fine. Group of people dressed in green pajamas. Knocking on our hatch is not something that we'd anticipated. Yet is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they are in insisted they are the merry men and wish to take from the rich and give it to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we can make some new friends. Should we let them in? Why not? I want to see what happens. Uh-oh. Hey, she's home. Checkerboard's still here. Or, still gone. <gasps> radio! Very kind. They noticed we didn't have a radio, so they offered us one. When we asked where they got it, they said the 1%. Hmm, that's convenient. We we're glad to see Dolores came home safely. We used to go to the waterfront before all of this happened. It was a great place to enjoy time with your family and watch ships, boats, and sailors. We we're really excited to find one of our favorite yachts a few blocks away from our house. We found it a bit mysterious. It's now moored in the middle of the crossroads. There's plenty of reasonable explanations for that. Found soup. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble. See, Timmy prefers apple juice because you get him water. Dolores is sick, so Timmy and Ted are thirsty. Dolores is hungry. We're getting low on supplies. Uh, yes, we can send Ted next day. We can keep sitting here in the backside, so let's turn the radio on. See if there's anyone that'll help us now. Day 20. Okay. Let's get some crunch time now. We made contact. Military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions to keep our radio working order. Okay, hungry. Timmy's hungry. Dolores. Okay, Ted and Timmy are hungry. Dolores is thirsty. Hungry, hungry, thirsty. Some of us are keener. Let's send Ted. Perfect. And there's a fly buzzing around. Fly? Where'd the fly go? Hmm. Mary Jane is hungry and thirsty. Oh, Timmy is very brave. And Dolores is sick. So, Mary Jane is thirsty and hungry. We know very little about what's going on. Let's turn the radio on. See if we can hear something more. Still no Ted, and she's sick. It's not good. We've gone through a lot of sickness. Get a weak single into the government's emergency announcement, and guess what? Great news! The follow to side is mostly gone. Should be much safer. Excellent. Uh, Timmy needs water. Dolores needs food. Timmy needs water. Dolores needs food. We always thought life could be better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. In a way, not much has changed. There's the fly. I think you can squish it. I know you can click on certain things and squish them. Can you imagine being stuck with an irradiated fly? So you can touch these and they zap zap. That doesn't do much. Okay, nothing new. Timmy's rested. Dolores needs water. Difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. Whole mess will be over soon, or else. There's the fly again. Day 24, that means Ted's home. He's got the snot nose going on. 
Okay, Ted is safely returned. Used to go to this little grocery store, had windows closed, it started. We assured it was safe. We found some food left inside. A gas mask was hanging on the wall. Yes! There was a sign next to it in red. Is it safe? Everyone has to drink, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Timmy is hungry. Ted is sick, tired, and hungry. Okay, who is hungry? Everyone needs water. Timmy and Ted are hungry. Timmy, Ted, water, 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 water. Uh-oh, we're running out of food. Okay, we can send Dolores for an expedition. That's good. Eh, we could send Timmy, too. We're sure we looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed. A plant seed. We should plant it and see what happens. A bottle of water. Oh, let's do it. Maybe we'll get a tomato out of it. That's probably a bad idea, but we have more water than we have food. Day 25. Ted looks really sick. Soil, seeds, and water. We'll see what happens in a few days. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. She seems optimistic. Feels safe. Timmy's okay. Dolores is calm. Nothing new with Ted. Okay, let's send out... Send out Timmy. Oh boy. So we have mom and dad are sick and she's just sitting here. We got some more paintings going on. Mary Jane could use food. Okay, and they're sick. Yikes. Here's the last soup can. We're cracking it open. Able to catch a military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal the plane after it gets dark. If all goes well, we'll be able to find us. Sounds like we'll be leaving soon. I'll take it. Hopefully we don't leave Timmy behind. Going as planned. The flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Everyone has, a, has to drink. Dolores would like to eat. Okay, drink, 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 food. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tough surviving these conditions. Let's hope it'll be all over soon, or else... Day 28. Is there a fly? Boop. Zap. Gas mask is gone. Timmy's got that. Might end up in a place worse than the cozy shelter. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened today. Fine, Ted is hungry. Oh boy, Teddy. We've discussed everything, and no one is willing to chat anymore. The silence is disturbing. We should do something. Let's turn the radio on. Day 29. Timmy's home. He brought an axe and a med kit <gasps> and some more water. Good boy, Timmy. Ah, fortunate took the radio with us. No, we didn't. We, we had someone gift it from the one percenters. We could probably listen to some music. Do they play music out here? Out there, don't they? We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back. The wasteland is safe with us now. We believe our expedition to the wasteland. We must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Turned out that calling an ambulance is not an option anymore. We reached out to the hospital, but it's in ruins. But parts of it turned out to be still standing, more or less. We've decided to go through it for the rubble and make the best of it. Canteen had a soup can. We had two water and one med kit and one axe. Now, gas mask got damaged. Hmm. Timmy is hungry. Dolores is sick. Okay, so Timmy needs food. Let's send Timmy some food. And we do have that med kit. I'm going to hold on to it. Let's see if these guys... Let's see. Oh, yes. So Mary Jane can go. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. Okay. Alright. Day 30. Uh-oh. Someone came down with a sickness overnight. That's the person I was going to send, too. Do we want... Do we have to take care of ourselves, or has someone come to our rescue? Mary Jane's diet could use some food and some water, and she's pretty fatigued. How did you get fatigued? We're going to send you out... And water. Everyone needs water. Mary Jane didn't need water. Dolores is fatigued, and Ted needs water. 
forget who it was. Ted needs water. Dolores needs water. Timmy needs water. Mary Jane needs food. Okay, so everyone needs water except Mary Jane who needs food. Gulp. And we're going to send... I don't know who to send out now. Mama? Hopefully mom comes home. Oh boy. Everyone's grotesque now. Mary Jane, something to drink, fatigued. Okay, Mary Jane, water. Tickling sensation woke us up. The roars got out of us out of bed. Turns out Mary Jane's plant is some sort of plant monster. <laughs> wow. And it's up for blood brains or whatever it chews on. We need to do something. Let's hack it apart. I wish it would show us that plant. Day 32. Oh, we got food from the plant. Nice. The two food and less the axe. Mary Jane's fine. Timmy's good. Ted's hungry. Of course, Ted's hungry. Ted's always hungry. For an isolated fallout shelter, we have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn and we couldn't sleep. Coming from under the floor. Coincidentally, we found a manhole. Could just go down and check what's going on. Look at his beard now. Epic beard of, of bushiness. If we didn't have a flashlight, we'd probably be a meal for, for something that's down there. We're not sure, but its eyes look very reptilian, very vicious, and very, very hungry. Was it that a dinosaur? I hope so. Uh, Mary Jane's fine. Timmy's hungry and thirsty. Ted is thirsty. Hungry, thirsty. Ted is thirsty. I'm going to go back and check again. Water and food. Okay. Saved another radio broadcast from the military. Apparently, they won't be arriving when they expected. Suggested we they won't be long. Bring in canisters, nearby bus stop. Okay. We don't have anything. We can't do it. And day 34. Hmm. Felt it was too risky to help an army without using a gas mask. Seems our rescue will be a bit overdue. Mary Jane needs food. Mary Jane needs food. Come on, Mom. Is Mom going to come home? Day 35. Still no Mom. Fond memories are one thing. You need to be ready for the harsh reality that awaits us. Oh, boy. Mary Jane's thirsty. Nothing new with Timmy. Thirsty. Decided to peek outside for a moment. Let's use the gun. When I heard a growl in the darkness, a pair of ferocious eyes. We had moments to decide what to do. Kabam! Give me food. Uh, the gun's still not broken. That's good. Quick shot with the rifle is more than enough to scare it away. Or maybe bring it down. Whatever creature stalked us in the darkness, we'll never see it again. Nothing new to Mary Jane. Timmy needs drink, and Ted needs drink. Drink and drink. Uh-oh. That's We're getting to the end. Yes, gas mask has been badly worn out and it doesn't really protect against anything. It's a good time to have a go at fixing it using the Boy Scout handbook. We're getting there. We're getting to the end. I don't think mom's coming home. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, search the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they've captured a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think we'll let her go. Hmm. Well... Looks almost brand new or interesting that Scouting Handbook sports instructions for gas mask repair. So, Mom's been captured. Uh, let's see. Mary Jane's fine. Ted's hungry. I guess we're going to have to use that on him. Okay. Oh, no. Back up. Yeah, we want that. Because we have to send Ted out now. Hopefully he will get a good night's sleep. If not, it's game over. Fond memories are one thing. Okay, Mary Jane, drink. Timmy's hungry. Ted has recovered. What was that again? Drink and Timmy's hungry. Timmy's hungry. Drink water. We'll send Ted out. Okay, it's just the two kiddos left. Hope they don't rip each other's heads off. Out of food. Oh, we are out of water. 
Okay, she needs food and he needs water. Oh boy. Turn the radio on. Information. Dad needs to come home quick. Dad needs to come home really quick. Mary Jane isn't worried. Not saying it out loud. Nothing new with Timmy. Excellent. They don't need anything. Another radio broadcast from the military. Won't be arriving when they expected. It won't be long. Survivors requested to render assistance by bringing canisters, which we don't have. Come on, Dad, come home. Negative. Felt too risky. They need water, and Timmy needs food. <laughs> okay. Mary Jane's gonna go. Not hard to keep track of time down here. Can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. Terrible light bulbs are not helping. It's too bad we can't replace them. Because we don't have a med kit. Day 42. Dad's home. And he didn't bring any water. That... That goober head. Ted has safely returned. Might sound paranoid? Someone followed us. When a man is desperate enough, any place is good to look for food. Our expedition was coming home with nothing to show for the searching, but they found stumbled across trash cans in the neighborhood. Oh, we got a gas mask again. Mary Jane needs drink. And Ted needs food. We don't have any drink. Sorry, Mary Jane. And we can't send anyone else. So your minds will not prepare. <sighs> there isn't a lot of space down here. We can smell everything. One of the wall bricks got loose and we revealed a hole. But we felt pretty sick. The smells coming from the hole. They're terrible. We should investigate and remove the source. Yes. Let's do that. Forty-three. This is the farthest I've made it ever. Approach the hole cautiously. You know, they gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent, a reptile or whatever. This crazy mad creature was leapt out and st started jumping all over the shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it. Before we could do anything, it pushed our radio off the table. <sighs> Back in the hole, crawled out for. Never saw it again. Mary Jane needs food and water. Timmy's good. Ted needs food. Or he needs water. Can't send anyone else again. Oh boy. This is not, not good. He's got a soup can on his head. He's gone crazy. He's ripped the teddy bear off head off too. We didn't even have a teddy bear. <laughs> when Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out of the wasteland, nothing shouting over her shoulder that will regret this. And she's getting water one way or another. We're seriously terrified right now. Or else we might end up dead in the wasteland ditch. There's not something we're looking forward to. Can't leave Timmy without water. Timmy was crazy. Ted is thirsty. <laughs> no one can go out and do anything. Difficult to treat keep track of time down here. Just remember it is Timmy's birthday. Let's give him his Boy Scout book for his birthday. Thanks, Dad. You're a real pal. Day 45. We don't know if Timmy is ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but the Scout Handbook is deadly spider-killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. We can't leave him without water. We can't leave him either of them without water, which we don't have. No one can go outside because they're exhausted and crazy. And the end. That... <laughs> wow! That's a little grotesque. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. We decided against going for an inspection of the tank. For all we know, it might be a trap or something in a burnt out wreck. We couldn't do it because everyone was crazy. We didn't make it. Those are our final words. And our advice to anyone who reads this is obscured writing. 46 days. So, all the different events that happened. That's kind of cool. Very good. Well, guys, I guess I hope you've enjoyed this little series. Uh, this one, and I might break this video up into two. 37 minutes is kind of long for one. So, I'll break this one up into two, and we'll, uh, we'll keep going on it. So, oh, pizza. <laughs> keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.